Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking orb effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create a new composition. 1920 by 1080 pixels will be fine at a duration of about 10 seconds. Press OK. The next thing that we need to do is we need to set out our colors. Now I've just gone to color hunt and I'm going to be using this color palette. So for our main color, I'm just going to be using this dark version of this, you know, bluish kind of color palette. So now that I've copied the color over, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new solid and I'm just going to change the color down here. So now I'm just going to press OK. So I'm going to be using that as our background. The next thing that we need to do is I'm just going to zoom out. So I'm going to hold Alt and scroll on my mouse wheel. The next thing that we need to do is we need to click off that layer. I'm just going to get this rectangle tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a fairly long rectangle. Now also I'm going to add an effect called fill. And with this effect, I'm just going to change the color. So I'm going to go back to color hunt and I'm going to use this bright blue and I'm going to take it back to After Effects. So now I can go into my fill settings and I can change that. So that is a bright blue color. So now what we need to do on that shape layer, we need to go to add and we're going to come down to wiggle parts. And what we're going to do is we're going to open it up and we're going to make this move. So we're going to change the size to let's say 160. We're going to change the detail. We're going to drop it down to maybe about six. We're going to change the points to smooth and that's going to create a kind of wave effect. And we're just going to bring down the wiggles per second to let's say 0.4. And so now if you've done this correctly, you will see you've got this cool looking wave. Now that looks pretty good as it is, but we're going to add another effect to it. So we're going to come over here and we are going to add a drop shadow to this. Now we want this drop shadow to appear in the upward motion. So we're going to come and change the direction to zero and we're going to increase the distance to about let's say 25 and we're going to increase the softness to let's say 200. Now you can't really see much there because it's a very dark background but you'll see when we add the next layer on top of this what is actually happening. So now that we've got that what we need to do is we need to duplicate that and what we're going to do is we're going to bring it down halfway in between the top layer. So now you can see that drop shadow working nicely. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to change the color on that. So I'm just back in color hunt and I'm just going to choose another one of those colors and put it back into After Effects. So now I've put that color in there. It's got the brighter blue there. It has the drop shadow, which all looks nice. And if we scrub through that, you can see that they're moving together. Now to make it a bit more random, what we can do is we can open up the contents, open up the wiggle path and then go to random seed and just bump that up to 50. And now you can see that they're moving at different times. So now we've got the bottom half of our orb complete. What we're going to do is we are going to duplicate them again. So I'm going to press Control D to duplicate. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rearrange it and I'm going to bring the third layer. I'm going to put that right at the top and then I'll bring the fourth layer and I'll also put that maybe something like that. And so now you can play around with some of these settings. If you want more of this color in the middle, then rearrange some of your shape layers to how much you want to be visible. So now the only thing that we need to do to these two shape layers is we need to go into our drop shadow settings and we need to change the direction to 180 degrees. So if we do that, now you can see that the drop shadow is working there nicely. Cool. So now what we need to do is we need to pre-compose that. So we're going to right click pre-compose and we're going to call that orb. And now not much has happened, but everything is in this pre-composition. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an effect called CC sphere and we're going to bump that up to let's say maybe 400, something like that. And now if you scrub through this, you can see that now we have this orb with this kind of wavy effect going through. And that's looking pretty good as it is, but we're going to make it look a little bit better. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up the shading and we're going to change some of these settings. We're going to bring down the ambient to about five. 
we're going to increase the specular to maybe somewhere around 100, maybe a little bit less. We're also going to add some rotation animation. So I'm just going to come over here, click on the stopwatch, and then I'm going to move to the end of the composition and I'm just going to rotate it a bit. Now you can see that this line is kind of not looking the best. So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it the other way until we see that line. So you don't really need that much rotation to be honest because it, it's all going to look the same. But just to give it that little bit of extra spin while the waves are moving, I think can look pretty good. So now once we've got the orb ready to go, we need to add a background. So I'm just going to right click, add a new solid. I'm going to call this background and I'm going to drag that underneath and then I'm going to search for our gradient ramp. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the colors from Colorhunt and put that in. So here are my colors in Colorhunt. I'm going to go for the dark scheme here. So I'm going to go and use these two colors. Cool. So now I've got my gradient in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this um, end of ramp. And I'm just going to put it over on this side so that it goes from dark to light. And once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to add another effect, which is called curves. And I'm just going to click on this and just to bring it down a little bit and then I'm going to bring this one up slightly. So it kind of looks like a little S bend and that just makes the dark area a little bit darker and a bit more intense. So that's looking pretty cool but we're also going to add another drop shadow to the orb. So the drop shadow I want to appear on this side so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase the distance and maybe bump up the softness a little bit so that you can see that that drop shadow over there or even increase the opacity or you can change the color to one of these colors if you like. So once you're happy with that, the final thing that you can do is you can come over here and create another adjustment layer and we're going to search for an effect which is called noise and we can just bump up the noise to let's say 10%. And yeah, and that's about it. So thanks for watching this quick and simple tutorial on how to create a cool looking orb using After Effects. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and I will see you guys next time.